Welcome back to another video, everyone. So I was just scrolling through my Twitter timeline the other day when I came across a screenshot of a TikTok which had financial advice in it. Now that in itself seems all right. I mean, free financial advice is always nice, but this piece of advice? Yeah, the TikToker probably should have just left it in the drafts because, well, without beating around the bush, it's fucking dreadful. How to make 100K this year. All right, all right, I'm liking the sound of that. I mean, who wouldn't want to make 100K in a year? Anyway, let's see what advice this lady's going to give us so we can achieve this. So 137 cookies a day for two dollars each guys can we please get a round of applause for this lady i mean just off of this phrase alone you can really see our outstanding intellect i mean when you're giving out advice like this especially for free i mean you're really proving your weight in gold but anyway enough of the sarcasm she's really labeled this tiktok as teen jobs with chest i don't know where she's gathered this much confidence to call this shit a job surely no one out there not even ourself believes this is a viable source of income for a teenager right like she does realize that most teenagers in the us which is where she's from by the way have something known as school but i mean hey judging by this advice it wouldn't surprise me if she didn't school hmm nah no clue mate so i've just looked it up and the average school day in america is 6.64 hours but for argument's sake let's just say it's six and a half so let's say you start school at 8 a.m and finish at 2 30 p.m you know just an ordinary school day out there in the united states after that you then somehow manage to teleport home instantly and then begin to make and bake some cookies and by some cookies i mean 130 fucking seven this in itself would take hours but let's just be unrealistic for a second well, let's just be unrealistic for a second. For a second. After that, you then somehow manage to teleport home instantly. Let's say you somehow make and bake them in an hour and a half, ready by 4 p.m. You then go somewhere and have roughly three hours to sell all your cookies before going home. You'd have to sell around 45 cookies per hour to sell all of them. I'm sorry, but I don't care if you're the greatest salesperson in the entire universe, you are simply not selling that many. And I haven't even touched on the price yet. $2 a cookie. Barely anyone is going to pay that much. I'd understand paying $2 or more if the cookie is of a high quality and has actual effort put into it. I'd also understand paying $2 if the cookie has dripped that's respectable why is this an advert but chances are if you're a teenager producing 137 cookies in basically no time at all you'd find better quality tastier food than the feces of a homeless man whose diet consists of rat meat and out of date scrambled eggs than whatever you're selling and that's an understatement and speaking of the price if you sold every single one of those two dollar cookies in a day you'd make 274 dollars fuck me this is sounding like a maths exam isn't it <laughs> anyway if you then somehow managed to pull off the impossible and rinsed and repeated this for 365 days in a row you'd earn yourself $100,010. Now, going back to the TikTok, the woman says how to make 100k this year, meaning you would have $10 to spend throughout the entire year on ingredients if you wanted to make 100k exactly. More specifically, you would have to spend $10 to produce 50,005 fucking cookies. If you're gonna be a self proclaimed financial advisor on TikTok, at least do basic maths to make sure that what you're telling people to do is actually possible. Like, what she has just said here is quite literally an important possible business model to operate and this tiktoker had the audacity to use hashtag business talk in the description so far this year in 2021 the literal girl scouts the people known for selling cookies have 15 million unsold boxes of cookies in what world do you think an independent teenager could sell all those cookies if the girl scouts of all people can't on a real if this is your business idea give up and can i just point out real quick that this tiktoker is just casually smiling while this piece of advice is on the screen the entire time yeah! Yeah! as if this is actually helpful. You would legitimately have a better chance of being successful if you tried to build a time machine back to the 1500s just so you can wipe King Henry VIII's ass crack for crying out loud. Or maybe she's just smiling because she's about to cause someone to waste their time attempting this. Either one could be the case. They've also gone ahead and put hashtag money talk in the description as if this is some great way to earn money. I hate to burst your bubble, but it isn't. There are probably millions of other ways to make 100k in a year that are better than selling 137 cookies each and every day for a whole last year i took a brief look at the rest of their account and to be honest it doesn't seem terrible when it comes to financial advice other than what is seemingly a part two to this where she says you can also make 100k in a year by selling accessories such as jewelry scrunchies and headbands and then proceeds to give fuck all information on how to actually do this other than saying reach 1900 in sales per week yeah thanks for that that's really useful and it's definitely that easy and i mean even if you did do that using our non-existent useful information taxes exist so you're not even going to be getting the entirety of the high 
100k anyway. Honestly, looking at this, I could probably be a financial advisor on TikTok. Do you want to know how to save money? Well, you're at the right place. First things first, cut things off that you don't need. For example, food and drink. Yeah, that's right. If you want to be a money saving expert like me, you need to starve and dehydrate yourself. And you have to believe me because I put hashtag money talk in the description and that makes me very reliable. Follow me for more awesome tips. Anyway, at the end of the day, if you're prepared to get financial advice off of TikTok, then you should also be prepared to receive shit advice in return. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, I'd massively appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and you can always change your mind later. With that being said, have a good one, guys. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.